Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, Fitness Management and Consulting, and welcome to our channel today. I appreciate y'all being here. And if you're new to the channel, if you're finding us that very first time, welcome as well. It's great to have you. And as a quick reminder to all, you know, my focus, you know, my mission here on the channel is I want to be able to provide as much information as I can to as many people as I can, you know, across all regions. And the best way that I can do that is when you choose to subscribe to the channel, you know, when you choose to like the videos, and when you choose to share the information with friends, associates, and colleagues. And so if you've not yet done so, you know, please take a moment, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and share the information with associates and colleagues. And for additional ways uh, that you can choose to support the channel, you know, check out the links below. And for additional ways that I can potentially help you take your business to that next level, you know, check out those links below as well. And with all that said, let's get into our topic here today. And it's the impact of sales training on your gym business. The impact of sales training on your gym business. And so one of the things that I see a lot is we don't do a lot of sales training. As a matter of fact, you know, I handle the sales training for many clubs. Okay, uh, just because they don't have that background in it, they chose to outsource it. So if you need some help with that, you know, hit the link below. Happy to chat with you about how we can help you do that. But in terms of sales training, there's a few suggestions. Before I get into my tips here, there's a few suggestions here I'd like for you to think about. Consider having a weekly sales meeting. You know, every Tuesday at 11 o'clock, but do it week in, week out without fail because it's never going to become important to your staff until it first becomes important to you. We have to make sure we do it, not just with our words, but with our actions. So I would have every single week a sales training or if there's role playing, there's new information. Uh, we want to make sure people know how to do this. And then the second thing is every single day, I would be doing sales training with everybody every day. All it has to be is five or 10 minutes. You know, let's role play a telephone inquiry. Let's role play a follow up call. Let's role play how we share personal training. Let's role play how we ask someone to become a member with us. Let's role play this stuff. How do we, maybe a difficult customer. How do we role play this? How do we get a referral? Okay. Um, so make sure you schedule training. Okay. And you can, you can check uh, here on the, ch on the channel. There's a host of videos uh, on these topics. And so the impact of sales training on your gym business, number one, of course, you're going to close more membership sales. You know, the more we train people on how to do this, the better you're going to do. And just a small improvement. If you had one person improved by 10%, what would that do to your business? Think about that. If you just had one person improved by 10%, what would that do to your business? Because, you know, so many clubs, what, what, the, what the, the sales approach is, is we just simply, here's all of our stuff and here's our price. I'm kind of simplifying there, of course, but that's really kind of what it is. Here's everything we have and here's what we're charging. And that's up to the customer to say yes or no. And you, 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 you train people how to do this. You train people how to solve problems and how to invite people to become a member. Things can change and they can change dramatically very quickly. Okay. I mean, I've walked into clubs and we, we've taken clubs from zero sales to doing 10 sales a day just because we we were doing follow-up here's how you do follow-up correctly it's amazing what's sitting there okay if we know how to use it so you're going to close more membership sales number two you're going to start to integrate best practices you know sales training is going to integrate best practices and when i talk about sales training i, I would train everybody on it okay not that everyone necessarily is in that role of kind of getting someone in you know signed up in your gym but to learn how we do this what's one of the key ingredients here of best practices learn to be agreeable it's one of the more more powerful things in selling but you really integrate best practices when you do this uh, number three you're going to gain in-depth knowledge you're going to gain in-depth knowledge because Sales training, you know, it's about partially being a good student of sales, a good student of people, a good student of your business, a good student of the industry. You know, how do you do this? I know, you know, back when I was first, had first learned this, I, at this point I'd become pretty good at it, you know, after really struggling, by the way. 
Um, but you know, we usually hang out and work out, you know, at the close of business and we talk about, well, what'd you say here? How'd you handle this? How are you able to get that person in? How are you able to do this without coming across, you know, it's too pushy. And you really do gain in-depth knowledge when you're, when you're doing sales training. Cause one of the things I always like to do, you know, in any, any meeting, but certainly sales training, you know, we'll start off and I'll go around the room and I'll ask the question, what's working well? What's not? I want to hear from everybody what's working well, what's not, because I want to get everybody engaged here. I want to, I want to get that in-depth knowledge of, you know, what are those little things that are happening that's kind of tripping you up? Uh, number four, on the impact of sales training in your gym business, it's going to improve employee retention. If you are training your staff, if you are teaching your staff, if you are providing education for your staff, they're going to stay longer. Why are they going to stay longer? Well, A, they're getting a lot of valuable information, but B, they're probably going to have a high level of success. So if you're having issues with maintaining staff, think about, you know, the impact of training them. Okay. Training on a regular basis. There's always plenty of information. You know, we've got some clubs, if you struggle with it, use this channel, you know, grab a few videos that kind of fit your circumstance and use that as training and then talk about them, brainstorm them. Okay. How does this video relate to our current situation? Could be a good way to do it. And then number five is the impact of sales training on your gym business. You can develop accurate forecasting and set realistic goals. You can develop accurate forecasting and develop, uh, you know, realistic goals. And so let me tell you what I mean here. Okay. I was talking to someone recently and they were talking about, you know, setting goals and all that. And I said, well, tell me how many sales do you want to make a month? And this is for the, the facility. And they said they wanted to make a hundred. I said, well, okay, well, based on what I know to be true, you know, the easiest way to get a hundred sales is to get 200 people in that front door. Okay. Because you're going to sign up at least half of them if you're doing the right things. Now, if we're not doing the right things, that number might be lower and, and 50% is pretty conservative. You might do 60, 65, 70. Okay. But when you're doing sales training, you, you'll get pretty predictable. You'll know, you know, here's how much I need. I know when I was running my clubs, you know, we had a, we had a full phone room that was calling constantly and, and we wanted to make at least three sales per club from this phone room. And to get three sales, we knew we had to have six presentations. So we had to talk to six people. Well, if we had to talk to six people, we had to have 12 appointments. So if we had 12 appointments, half of them show up, half of them buy, we knew what we were going to get. And we did that every single day. And that was just on one category. That was kind of like from the, I would call it the public relations department. That was one category. So we were going to be getting 90 sales a month from that group. And we do the same thing on referral traffic, same thing on, on, you know, outbound calls and follow up. So, you know, when you start doing sales training, this stuff becomes much more predictable for you and you can do a much better job of forecasting. So take a good look at that. This is an area that's really missed, um, in most facilities, certainly that I talk to. Okay. We're really not as good at this. It, it's almost like, Hey, we put in this really nice facility and now we think people are going to come in, which they won't to the level you want them to in many cases. And then when they come in, they're just automatically going to want to buy. You know, we have to understand, you know, what is the process to help them see how we can solve the problem? Because most of these folks have been thinking about it for a year or two or three anyway. And so it's easy to kind of put it off and procrastinate. So folks, take a look at those tips, you know, see if they can help you. Uh, my name is Jim Thomas. Uh, my company's fitness management and consulting. Appreciate you being here at the channel today. And as I mentioned earlier, you know, my focus here is I want to provide as much information as I can to as many people as I can across all regions. And the best way that I can do this is when you choose to subscribe to the channel, when you choose to like the videos, and when you choose to share the information with friends, associates, and colleagues. So if you've not yet done so, you know, please, you know, hit that subscribe button, please hit that like button. And for additional ways that you can choose to support the channel, you know, check out those links below. And we look forward to seeing you all in that next video.